Hi everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Taney. Today I'm going to show you how to create a neon sign effect in Adobe Illustrator. So first, let's uh, jump on to a website called defont.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I'm going to use this font here called Never Surrender. So I'll download this and I'll extract it and then I'll install it. You get these two files and you go to your, your PC uh, windows and then fonts. And it'll be a very similar folder uh, format for a Mac as well. There we are, let's jump into Illustrator and create a new. We'll stick with a 1920 by 1080 so this is for video format. First we'll create a new layer, so we've got two layers here. Double click this and call it background and the top one text. We'll go to the background layer and then select our rectangle tool, click in the middle and then type 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Make sure there's zero stroke, so we'll take the stroke off and we'll double click the fill, make this black, or maybe like a really dark blue. And a quick way how I usually get this in the center is control C, delete, control zero, and then control V. Next we'll click the text layer and lock our background. Type our text. And we'll make it white for now just so we can see it scale this up and don't forget to hold shift just so it doesn't kind of skew the text like this so if you hold shift it locks it in place for you that's great and now we'll search for our font and then we'll create switch this to outlines and then get the stroke make this a bit bigger maybe up to I'll make it to 15. We'll change the tracking of our type to 100 and then we'll change the caps and the corners to rounded caps and corners here on the stroke so you'll see it'll round the top bits off here depending on what look you want to go for. Um, we'll then select our text, copy this and then create a new layer and call this text light. Then control shift and V We'll paste it in there. So if we had the text layer, the one behind, and we'll make this to eight, the top one, uh, maybe five actually. Then we'll lock the top layer, show the background text layer, changes to a color one. So we'll double click the stroke here, and we'll go for a kind of Tron like blue kind of color here. Then we'll select our text and go Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, click Preview, then we'll click OK. And the thing about this, we can still change the stroke here, so we can change this to 20 to get a bigger blur here. And then the light text on top, and then we'll bring the transparency down to 80. Maybe make the stroke a little thinner as well on the top one. Also, if you want to change the color, we can select the text here, select the ones that we want to change the color to, if you want to continue adjusting uh, the look of this, you can select your object here, so the text, and go to Windows, Appearance, and then you'll see the Gaussian Blair that you've applied here, you can click that, and then keep adjusting until you're happy with the look. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to create a neon text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv for my design account and travel go explore for my travel account. Thanks for watching.